Hello everyone and welcome to this new lecture. In the previous two lectures, we have covered the basics from a very high level of AI and machine learning. And in this lecture, we're going to cover the basics of AWS. Okay, what, what is Amazon Web Services? Uh, I'm assuming that most of you guys have at least basic knowledge or expertise with AWS uh, or one of their certifications and have basic knowledge as well of AI and machine learning. But here, I'm just going to give you again a quick overview just in case if you guys are not familiar with it. So what is AWS? So Amazon Web Services, or AWS, is the world's top cloud platform. AWS offers more than 165 fully featured services, and 40 of them actually are not offered anywhere else. So it's pretty amazing, especially when it comes to machine learning. You will find a ton of features, ton of services. Just it's, it's unbelievable. And AWS is mainly adopted by millions of customers globally with small businesses, you know, large enterprises and so on. And AWS mainly enables companies to be more agile, flexible, and secure at a fraction of the cost. So instead of basically going and buying, you know, like servers and buying compute, you know, resources and developing all your algorithms on your own and creating all these crazy services, you basically go there and kind of lease or rent all these services from AWS at a fraction of the cost. And they have already have all the knowledge, have all the expertise, have all the security. You're kind of, you know, like, a, like leasing basically all these resources and you pay per use. And that's the most amazing thing. You don't need any upfront cost and buy all these like expensive equipment and administer them and manage them. Like everything is just managed. It's just everything is done for you. You just go there and with just a bunch of clicks, you can do amazing, extremely powerful um, things. And I'm going to show you a lot of examples coming up. So there's a lot of, there are basically a lot of services and ranges of services applied mainly uh, or offered by AWS, such as compute, if you want to do storage, if you want to do databases, if you want to do networking, if you want to do analytics, and if you want to do machine learning and AI, which is kind of one of our main focus in this course. And if you want to do an internet of things or IoT, all these are kind of very high level, broader, broader uh, services that could be offered by AWS. Okay. All right. So from a machine learning perspective, as we integrate it to AWS, there are many, there are basically three kind of main components that we need to have in order to build any machine learning. So first, I need to have my model, obviously. So I need my model, which is, let's say, a deep learning model or a machine learning model or an artificial neural network or whatever. And this model is useless if I don't have the data. So machine learning is mainly hungry for data. It just relies on data. The more data you have, the better the models you should be able to train and you should be able to generalize as well. And you need to train basically the model with the data on something. You need compute power, you need GPUs, you need CPUs. So these are kind of the three main components from a very high level when you wanted to build any machine learning system. All right. So that's why when you, here specifically in, in the introduction section, I wanted to give you some overview of the AI machine learning kind of, you know, lingo in the beginning, but, but we need some data too. So we need to know the fundamentals of data and data engineering. And that's where AWS comes into play heavily with S3, um, Redshift and tons of storage services. And obviously we need compute as well. And AWS will offer the compute as well for you. All right. So when you open AWS, you will find here a ton of services. So you will find there are services for compute, there is storage, databases, analytics, security, customer enablement. There is tons, tons, tons of services. Obviously, we can't cover all of them. That will take us forever to do. But I just want to link them to our specifically to our uh, AWS machine learning certification. And again, as I mentioned before, we need our model, we need data, and we need compute to be able to build machine learning models. Okay, so AWS offers all of them and more. So you actually don't need to go anywhere to basically build your very advanced uh, machine learning models. So first, AWS can offer you with the compute power. So all the compute here, you can use EC2, you can use ECR, ECS, Lambda, Batch, again, tons of, uh, of ways of running compute, basically leveraging the power of GPUs, CPU, there are tons, tons of um, options. And I'm gonna walk you through them extensively in the next couple of lectures. But that's again, number three, which is compute here. 
And then the number one, which is the storage, as you guys can see here, which is simply the data. Again, uh, AWS offers you with Amazon S3. We're gonna have an entire lecture coming up on S3. It can offer you, you know, with like storage get, get, uh, gateway, there is S, S3 Glacier, we're gonna cover that as well. And there is tons of as well of service for databases such as RDS, DynamoDB. There is Amazon Redshift. We're gonna cover those two as well coming up. And AWS as well is can offer you tons of services here such as machine learning service. So there is Amazon Sage. Let me zoom in a little bit. So there is Amazon SageMaker, which is simply sim simply the framework that we're gonna use to simply train our machine learning models. There is Amazon Comprehend. There is Amazon Forecast, Lex, there is Machine Learning, Personalize, Poly, Recognition, to Extract, Transcribe, Translate, Deep Lens, and Deep Racer. Again, tons, tons, tons of, um, of services, and we're gonna show you how to integrate them all to build our machine learning models moving forward. All right, okay, that's all what I have for this lecture. I hope you guys enjoyed it. In the next lecture, we're gonna dig a little bit deeper into different terminologies that we're going to use when it comes to AI, machine learning, and data. And that will, again, lay the foundation for the next couple of sections. Please enjoy AWS Machine Learning Certification course, and I will see you guys in the next lecture.